Privateer, FX, fans. I've been asked to do a little piece on Bitcoin. I'm a big fan of Bitcoin. I am a bigger fan of blockchain. Uh, but I'm also just a fan of any kind of financial instrument that has this kind of volatility because there's money to be made with Bitcoin or any asset that moves with this kind of uh, crazy volatility. Um, Bitcoin's a break trader's dream. It's the first thing I want to mention to people. The break at 3,000, tremendous. The break at 5,000, tremendous. Now the break here at 8,400, tremendous. But now it's it's getting a bit frothy here. Uh, certainly we should see some sort of just general psychological resistance at 10,000. And from a purely sort of candlestick uh, mentality, um, playing on the long side here, if you're just starting, looks a bit risky. Uh, you see all kinds of pullbacks, 50% pullbacks, the move from 3,000. Uh, before it broke, it went down 40%. The 5,000 highs went down 40%. The 7,800 highs went down 28%. So you're in for a bit of a wild ride um, if you're invested in Bitcoin. But blockchain in general, very, very exciting. The whole idea of taking out the middleman is going to change the world. I'm not sure it's going to change the world for the better. It's going to put a lot of people out of work, but it is going to change the world. And so I just wanted to bring this up, talk to you about this chart, which now looks fairly overdone. Um, I'm not suggesting going short Bitcoin, but I am suggesting being cautious here in this sort of 10,000 to sort of 11,000 area might be time to take some money off the table. If we go to Ethereum, which is sort of the, the second most important cryptocurrency and sort of the foundation of a lot of other currencies, you're seeing it's kind of moving in lockstep with Bitcoin these days. We should have good support now in this sort of 370, 400 area. This could be a more long-lasting strategic crypto because a lot of the other cryptos are, are based on the Ethereum network. Uh, it's less volatile than Bitcoin, but it's also more sort of at the early stages. Um, you can see it's really only been around for uh, about a year and a half now. So we'll have to we'll have to see how this pans out. The one thing I want to mention about all of this is very dot com esque, and of course, we at Privateer FX lived through the dot com bubbles, and we lived through Netscape, we lived through PetFoods.com, and we lived through Google. Microsoft and Yahoo. This is well before um, Amazon became anything legit. Amazon was just a bookseller at the time. So we won't really even count that as a dot com craziness. The craziness in Amazon has come more recently as they're sort of putting retailers out of business and going parabolic. But my point is with all of these cryptos now, if you're coming into the game now, you're, you're late. And you really want to see where the dust is going to settle here. There are many, many, many cryptocurrencies. Crypto, I don't know, crypto pretend currencies. A lot of these ICOs are, uh, look like to me, like they're fraud. You have to be super careful. I'm just scrolling down now. I can see 100 and 200, 287 cryptocurrencies on the coinmarket.com site. 
surely at least 50% of these are going to go to zero or are going to be a waste of time or not going to have the staff or are not going to have the rollout needed to become real. So be super careful now where you start following and chasing this whole cryptocurrency world. Eventually, if you're going to get started now, we suggest you just start with research. You want to get comfortable with the idea of what blockchain is all about, the power of the group versus the power of one centralized middleman. And then you'll see eventually, just like we saw eventually with Google, with Intel, and some of the Microsoft, and some of the key, even Yahoo paid tremendously, some of the key long-standing members of the community in, in .com. In crypto, you're going to eventually see the same. I wouldn't even say it's safe to say that Bitcoin is going to be the sort of wealth storage of the um, crypto world, sort of the new gold. That's what it looks like now. But there are definite risks that I don't even understand that I'm still reading about. Risks about, you know, deciphering cryptography. Risks about hacking into these networks you saw I think I don't know if it was Litecoin or actually I don't even I can't even remember but you know you saw it with Mt. Gox a small small mistake in security and you can lose 30, 50, 100 million dollars worth of cryptos and so it's still we're still in this live, learn, follow, and let's see where this goes. The last thing I want to just mention on this little video is have a look at one of the lesser known, give a little shout out to one of the little lesser known cryptos that I do like, it's called Nimic. The reason I like it is it looks like you're going to be able to mine it through a browser. So you're basically dumbing down the mining, which should create a bigger group of miners. Uh, and if you look at what Nimic is trying to do, I think they're, they're trying to solve some of the issues that we have with Bitcoin now is that it can't really be used for currency for small purchases it takes too long it's too costly um, and if the blockchain group in Nimic is a global group driven by people who are mining on their browser the idea is it could be faster and be, could be used as a day-to-day -day currency it's a bunch of uh, sort of European dudes, a bunch of German guys kind of put it together. Uh, the other thing I like about it is they have this little blog that is uh, sort of detailing their journey and it gives you a little bit more security in the fact that it's may or may not be a scam. I'm, I'm moving more towards it may not be a scam and has some very, very interesting potential. All right, I'll leave that uh, for now. I'll come back to it on the price side, uh, which is more my specialty. And as I learn more about Bitcoins and cryptos, I will share my knowledge with all of you. Anyway, first, first effort here. Um, I'll talk to you guys some more about it a little bit later. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Ciao.